Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here today to talk about The Sword and their new album, Apocryphon. Now, I feel like they, um, The Sword had done three albums and they were like, man, we know who we are now. We've gone through the journey. We've been through the three trials. And now that we have established who we are, let's just get out there and make a fucking album that says, hey, we're The Sword and we're fucking here to stay. Well, I think that's what they've done with this album. It uh, does have new things in in it, new things that I haven't really heard on the other ones, but it is very much the sword and what uh, kind of you would expect to hear. Not really. I think just the vocals off the last album, Warp Riders, really stuck with him. He sings like that all the time on this one, it seems like. Um, but nonetheless, there are no weak songs on this album, really. They're all pretty equal and pretty good to listen to all the way through. If you have the uh, CD, you have the three extra, I mean, the four extra live songs, and then the cover, um, Cheap Sunglasses, uh, from uh, ZZ Top. And it sounds great and it's fucking a little heavier, but it sounds like he does a great job impersonating that fucking voice on that track. <laughs> um, I, it starts out just pretty much metal, fucking do 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 do, and uh, rocks just keeps going. And it, until like the middle of the CD, I think start getting some different things happening. Like the last track has like the most obvious crazy synthesizer that's uh, a little cheesy, but also pretty fucking cool at the same fucking time. Uh, now this album is great. I think. Fans will be very happy with this motherfucking album. But the Warp Riders thing comes into play. Uh, Warp Riders is a masterpiece, and I fell in love with it instantly when I heard it. So, does this album stand up to Warp Riders? It does. But is it smitten down? Oh, unfortunately, I think it is smitten down. Cast aside like an old beer can, empty. Laying in the dust. But, I think it sounds great. I think the songs are all good. And it's uh, hazy, but it's definitely heavier than the last album. Maybe not heavier than Gods of the Earth or their their first record. But, uh, overall, check it out. Uh, it's been reviews with Booze, Winston Smith, and I say to thee, Cheers, friends, and we'll see you around. ha <laughs> ha.